As with all of our presentations, this is simply meant to give you a general overview of the topic. If you require more information, please visit our website or contact our office. You can see fact sheet number 15 for disability retirement. This is a presentation to discuss how you would apply for disability retirement. Because disability retirement is very different than regular retirement, we have a separate presentation which discusses disability. Ordinary disability and accidental disability retirement are only available to members of PERS and TPAF who were enrolled before May 21st of 2010. So this would encompass Tier 1, 2, and 3. As with all of our retirements, the application for disability retirement must be submitted online using the EMBOSS system. You must also submit supporting hospital and physician records using the forms provided with the application. Disability processing can take up to six to eight months and you must be severed from all covered employment prior to your disability retirement date. In order to be eligible for ordinary disability retirement, you have to have an active pension account. That is to say that you have made a, a pension contribution within the last two years. You also have to have at least 10 years or more of, of New Jersey service credit. That means it cannot include any service credit purchased from out of state, from military, or from U.S. government service. And of course, you must be considered totally and permanently disabled for your job. For ordinary disability retirement, you are required to sum submit medical documentation that supports your disability. In the event that documentation is not sufficient, you may be required to go for an independent medical examination that will be scheduled at no cost to you by our office. With your medical documentation, it is very important to try to send all of it in at one time, if at all possible. You may even want to hand deliver that to our office to be sure that it is here. If you qualify for an ordinary disability retirement, the annual benefit will be equal to 43.6% of your final average salary. Remember the final average salary is equal to the last 36 months or the highest three fiscal years. There is no minimum or maximum age. So for example, if you had a final average salary of $45,000, your annual benefit at the maximum option, option would be $19,620. The ordinary disability retirement benefit is not reduced by any social security disability or workers compensation or private insurance benefits that may be payable. It is possible that any workers comp award you receive may be reduced but you need to speak to your employer about that. In addition, ordinary, ordinary disability retirement benefits are subject to federal income tax the same way as other pensions are. As far as New Jersey state income tax, it is not subject to that until you reach age 65 and then only if you reside in New Jersey. The second kind of disability retirement is an accidental disability. Once again, you must have an active pension account and you must provide any and all medical reports that support your disability. In this case, you will be required to go for an independent medical examination at no cost to you. The qualifications for accidental disability are fairly specific. You must be considered permanently and totally disabled as a direct result of a traumatic event that happened during and as a result of carrying out your regular or assigned job duties. In addition, you have to file within five years of the date of that traumatic event in order to be considered. For accidental disability, the traumatic event has been defined by the courts very specifically. It is identifiable as to time and place. It is undesigned and unexpected. It is caused by a circumstance external to the member and is not the result of a pre-existing condition. It occurred during and as a result of the member's regular or assigned job duties, was not the result of, of the member's willful negligence, and it results in the member's permanent and total incapacitation from doing his or her usual or any other job duty. 
if you are approved for accidental disability, your retirement benefit will be equal to 72.7% of your base salary at the time of the traumatic event. Once again, there is no minimum or maximum age. So again, using the $45,000 salary at the time of the event, the annual benefit at the maximum option would be $32,715. For accidental disability, there will be a dollar for dollar reduction of your, of your accidental disability benefit for any periodic workers' compensation benefits that you are receiving after your retirement. However, the retirement benefit is not reduced by any Social Security or private insurance benefits. The accidental disability retirement benefit is also reported as exempt from federal income tax and will not be subject to, subject to New Jersey state income tax until you reach age 65 and then of course only if you live in New Jersey. The group life insurance death benefit under disability retirement for PERS is one and a half times the final salary until age 60 and then 3 sixteenths of, of the final salary after age 60. For TPAF it is one and three quarter times the final salary until age 60 and then 7 sixteenths the final salary after age 60. If by chance the TPAF member is not in the contributory group life insurance at retirement it would be one and a half times the final salary until age 60 and then it would drop down to 3 sixteenths of the final salary. At age 60, when your group life insurance is reduced, you will have 31 days from that date to exercise the conversion option. Fact Sheet 13 discusses more about group life insurance conversion. This is a guaranteed conversion and you will not have to provide any proof of insurability. For group life insurance in retirement, you can also see our separate presentation on this subject. If you have additional questions, you can visit our website or contact our office. You can see fact sheet number 15 for more detailed information on disability retirement. Thank you very much.